everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video, and well, we've got another dev vlog just roughly an hour after the first one. So, this is the T-90M modernized breakthrough, so I guess this is an even more modern version of Russia's current main, main battle tank, the T-90. So, we're excited to be showing you one of the first new brand, brand new rank 8 vehicles to the game in the next major update. Say hello to the mo utmost modern representative of the T-90 family. So that's basically slang for this is Russia's best tank, aside from the T-14, but the T-14 is shrouded in myth and mystery, and no one really knows what it is, so uh, the T-90 is, well, the T-90M is Russia's main tank. It has new turret design, frontal relic, uh, relic ERA protection, barrel launch ATGMs, laser warning system, reduced number of weak spots, um, and but a very slow reverse speed. In other words, it sounds a lot better than the Challenger 3, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck into the dev vlog. So, meet the T90M. Fantastic all-new T90 variant. Didn't say that for the Challenger 3. The T90M will be added to War Thunder with the next major update. The top of the USSR's ground forces tree, although this is technically not even a Soviet vehicle. This is just Russian now, because this is post-Soviet Union, I, see, I assume. T-90M is at the forefront of the T-90 family of tanks, featuring a new welded turret with built-in modular ERA and a new fire control system. Let's take a look at what this, this formidable beast has to offer. One of the first things you'll notice with the T-90M is that its turret looks slightly different. I was going to say it doesn't have the iconic eyes anymore, which is kind of a shame. This tank features, although I will just say it looks, it looks cool, it does look cool. This tank features a new welded turret with an extended bustle at the back, which holds in a selection of the ammunition. Uh, thanks to this addition, some shells that were previously located in the main fighting department have been moved to this new isolated area. Well, that's good. There will be less uh, turrets flying off, I suppose. A new welded turret also means that uh, needs uh, some sort of reactive protection, and this is exactly what's been added to the T-90M. This tank re features relic ERA scattered across the turret's side and front, as well as the upper plate, which will help you to survive extra hits from ATGMs fired from tanks and helicopters. Yeah, apparently this thing was actually in the uh, update trailer that I reacted to yesterday, but I just didn't really notice it. Um, it's quite, I mean, all these kind of Russian tanks look pretty much the same, although this one probably looks really, really cool compared to the others. Uh, uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Oh no, there's a bit more. Moving on to guns and ammo, the T-90M inherits from the T-90A, it's 125mm smoothbore cannon that can fire blah 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 blah. However, what's changed the most is the fire control system. This addition means that the commander now has a parent new Pano panoramic sight. Uh, the gunner and the commander have uh, fantastic thermal sights, plus a very handy laser rangefinder. Did the normal T90 not have that? You may also have noticed that the Stora 1 active protection system, the red looking eyes, is absent. It's very sad. However, this tank still has a laser warning system, allowing you to react to missile threats in advance. As for mobility, the T-90M has a new engine with enough additional horsepower to compensate for its increased mass. Despite this increased weight, this tank is as fast and vigorous as you'd come to expect with Russian MBTs. However, the burning question is that you may have, uh, you may have is if its reverse speed is any better, and the answer is no. Tragically, it still inherits a measly 4 km an hour reverse speed from its predecessors, so be sure to keep this in mind when in battle. So it's one, you know this tank's good, when it's one flaw is it doesn't reverse pretty very quickly, and judging by how good it is, you won't need to be reversing very quickly. But hey, the intimidating T-90M will be added to USSR's ground forces research tree at the all new uh, rank 8 in the next major update. Until then, continue to keep an eye out for dev blogs. So yeah, it looks pretty nasty. It does look glorious, not gonna lie. It is a supreme Soviet machine. And I think rank 8 is basically the end of the line for ground forces. Um, so hopefully uh, aircraft can catch up. They'll probably just pad out rank 7, 8. There'll probably be some rank 7s currently in the game that will get moved up to rank 8, just so there's not one in each nation. But yeah, um... Challenger 3 is Britain's next main battle tank. This is Russia's current main battle tank. Uh, there's a new Abrams on the way, apparently, and supposedly the Leopard 2 A7. So these are just all the main nation's current tanks. Uh, we might see stuff like the T-14 Armata, but not yet. 
because I think there's too much of it still secret. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'll give it that. It's a very nice looking tank and it looks very, very powerful with uh, all its armor, the good gun, the good speed, although not in reverse, and the active prote protection system. So yeah, that's the T90M. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this, and if you like this video, do hit the like button, subscribe for more, check out the Patreon, and check out the other recent dev blog for the Challenger 3. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one.